lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of The Flat Makeover. Today has kind of been one of those days where we're just doing loads of like little odd jobs that need to be done before we can move on to like the big jobs. The first major thing being that all of my panelling arrived. I'm having panelling in the living room as I think I've mentioned before. I'm also doing some French style panelling in here in the bedroom and look at this. How incredible is this? I was actually planning on coming and painting the second coat in here today, but decided against it because it just kind of makes more logical sense to do the paneling first. I'm also having some coving in the kitchen because I just have a thing. I really hate like boxy rooms like this and where this is a super old converted building, some of the rooms have all of that old like grandeur, like my lounge and my bedroom, but some of the rooms are like this, they're kind of a bit newer and boxier. So I just thought adding in a little bit of coving around the ceiling would just kind of match it up with the rest of the flat and just make it look more like ornate, decorative, feminine, prettier. So this is all the coving and we had to paint it. So we've painted it in the fine cream colour from Dulux which is what we used on the ceiling in the kitchen and also on like all of the wood and the windows and door and everything. So it's all nice and matching so once this is dry um, we can put it up. The plumber has also been back this morning just to do a few like tidying up jobs, one of which fitting my new tap isn't that to die for. Oh my gosh, it's just made, just all of these small details make such a difference and I just think it's incredible. I got this from um, Wayfair, I got it from Wayfair um, and it's just so gorgeous. It's exactly what I wanted and it just looks fabulous. Another really boring job that we had to do was just paint this scotia, which is the little bit of beading that goes between the skirting board and the floor to match it up but it was like bright white so we had to paint that again the same colour as the fine cream although I do think you can still tell that it's a different colour so we'll probably need a second coat but that's just like one of the super finishing touches looking pretty good down there as well so as you can see we just like masking taped up some of the dado rail and panelling just to see um, if like the lights and everything were like symmetrical and in the middle um, and if we needed to get the electrician to come and move them but luckily we don't but one thing that we did need to fix was the light switch because it was basically going to be like in the middle of a panel so my dad has just chiseled it out basically um, and made a new place for the switch to go um, so that's what he's been doing today We're probably also going to have to do it for this switch as well, um, so maybe that will be a tomorrow job. Um, but it's all like these little things that need to be done before we can like go for it and put everything up. Also, my tiles have finally arrived from Original Style for my fireplace and my entrance hall. Um, it just took me so long to decide because there's so much choice out there. But I finally made up my mind and I can't wait for you to see what I'm going for. So I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of what I'm having because the kind of style that I've gone for is quite complicated, like a tiler to put down. Um, so they do like what's called a CAD, which is like a um, virtual drawing basically to show you exactly what it's going to look like so the tiler can copy it basically. So this is the CAD drawing that Original Style have done for my fireplace. So as you can see I'm going for this really traditional Victorian style but where this would normally be like black and white I'm going for pink and white. So it's like classic traditional but with a little Freddy flair if you know what I mean. And then I'm having the exact same for the entrance which I think is just going to look so beautiful. So you've got all of these like little octagonal white tiles with the little pink squares and then a pink rectangular border going around the whole thing and I just think it's going to look amazing. They've come and the colour is so beautiful. It goes really, really well with the calamine colour that's on the walls. I'm just so happy and my Tyler is actually coming tomorrow to do it, um, which is amazing and I'm finally going to be making some progress. Say goodbye to these hall tiles. Oh my gosh, it's the last time. 
you guys are gonna see them. So that's pretty much it for today. We're going home. Um, so yeah, not the most exciting day, but like I said, you kind of have to get those like little jobs out of the way before you can move on to the big exciting things. So hopefully the next day will be a bit more fun. <laughs> Good morning everyone, today is a beautifully sunny day and also very exciting because I am about to drive um, to a marble and stone workshop. Basically I am having a bespoke vanity unit built for my ensuite bathroom which I'm so excited about um, and I'm going today to choose the like marble or stone that's going to be on the actual countertop. Um, so I'm really excited, I don't know what to expect, apparently there's lots of choice um, and I think it's just going to be exciting to actually go somewhere because so far everything I've done and ordered has been online and it's kind of been a bit of a drag and it's just really nice to actually get dressed and go somewhere so I'm going to vlog the whole thing um so yeah I'll see you there <laughs> So guys, this is where like all of the cuts of stone are kept in this absolutely massive yard um, and there's more as well. This isn't this isn't everything. There are literally thousands to choose from. I mean, I don't know how you could ever really choose, um, but we've got a little tile sample um, that we can like match up to. So we're gonna try and find something that complements nicely. Gary is amazing. He just knows every single one off by heart. I can't actually believe it. Um, so we're gonna have a little rummage now and see what we can find. So guys, I'm back from Stone Age and this is the fabulous marble sample I've been able to take home to put in situ and see if it like matches and complements and honestly, I don't know how Gary could have found me a better match. I mean, it's it's almost perfect and it's so beautiful. Like the camera isn't really picking up how like it's got this subtle sparkle. It's just so nice and I am so excited about the magic that's going to be made with this. Good morning guys, today is a big day. It's a big day for the bedroom. I think this is going to be without doubt the most exciting thing we've done so far. Today is bedroom panelling day. I have kept my cards quite close to my chest with this, um, with my plans for the bedroom, but I may as well reveal all to you today. I want to go for a super ornate, over the top, French like Parisian theme for this room. Literally think like lingerie. And we're doing some really big, beautiful, decorative French panels. So I'm using all Aurac Decor for my paneling. They did very kindly give me um, a discount for all the materials because I'm using them in here, in the living room, and also the coving in the kitchen. So I ordered a lot um, and they honestly are amazing. It's like really lightweight material and super easy to install and look at these corners. Oh my god, have you ever seen anything so extra and fabulous in your life? And these are going to be the corners that go on the wall of the panels. It's going to look absolutely sensational. This bedroom desperately needs some love, so I am so happy that we're finally doing something to it today. It's such a beautiful day as well. Honestly, the light in this flat is just amazing. Um, the old owner actually came around the other day just to collect some posts, and he told us that um, all of the trees have like recently been cut, and I was kind of like moaning about it because they're these big, incredible trees. But he said before they were cut down, the flat was practically in darkness the whole time because the trees were so massive, so I'm really grateful that they've been cut. But anyway, let's get on with it and hope that my dad doesn't want to kill me too much by the end of today. <laughs>
update you on today. I first of all have to show you the finished result of the panelling we did yesterday in the bedroom. It looks unbelievable, like I, I just can't believe it. My tiler has also been, so I can now finally show you the new hallway tiles and also the fireplace hearth. They also look incredible every time I look at them. I just have a big smile on my face. They look so, so nice. And also what's happening today is a surveyor from Hammonds is coming to measure up my dressing room to get all the materials made for my little walk-in wardrobe area. So I mean, I probably won't film it because he's literally just measuring and checking that all of the plans that the designer made are actually achievable and they're all correct and everything before things get made. So what I thought I'd do is show you the plans that the designer sent, the like, did digital drawings because they're so interesting, they're so cool um, and it really gives you an idea of what's going to be happening in that room. But first things first, here is the panelling. Oh my god guys, isn't it amazing? Ignore the fact that it looks a little bit dirty because the corners and the actual um, panelling pieces are like a different colour so everything's going to be cleaned up filled in, painted. This is like the roughest it's going to look. So I've got two big, beautiful French panels on this wall and then one massive one on this wall. So this is actually where my bed will go. So my bed head will sit like just in the middle of this panel, which I think will look really, really pretty. And because we had some leftover paneling because I over ordered for waste, my dad had the idea of putting this border around the wardrobes. And guys, you know how much I wanted to revamp these wardrobes. They were so dull and boring. They really had nothing about them. Um, if you missed this in the last vlog, my dad already added this like beading to all of the doors um, because they were just completely plain. So they've got that and now they've got this amazing border which I just can't believe how much it's transformed um, the wardrobes and also kind of ties it in with the rest of the room which I really like because it kind of looked quite disjointed because we had all of this beautiful like panelling on the walls and it looked really grand and ornate and then these were just really really plain. So it's kind of tied it all in together. And as you can see I also found these really lovely wooden mouldings. These were just from a seller on Amazon. I actually looked for ages to find some nice ones and this seller was the best because they had so many different ones. So for now I've just got these um, corners like sort of framing the wardrobes. They're just blue tacked on because I'm just like testing out some designs. I've actually ordered some more, so I'm gonna be playing around with that today. Um, obviously they're gonna be painted and everything so they won't look like that. Um, and I'll get some beautiful fancy handles as well. So the next step for this room will be, I suppose, painting it. And I'm really unsure. I know the colors that I want, but I don't know exactly where each color is going to go. And it's something I am really, really indecisive about. So I don't know if you guys will see that in this vlog. You could do, but I'm not sure yet because it's kind of scaring me. I just want it to be perfect. So guys, um, ignore my reflection, please, if you can. Um, but this is my design sheet for my dressing room from Hammond's. So this is just telling me um, the finish that I've chosen and the handles. Um, I thought I'd go for this like nudie beige color because I've always had white, so it'd be nice to have a change. So this is the empty space. Um, I just think it's so cool that they could do this just from like measurements and he's like put this into the computer and made this incredible like simulation. It's so, so cool. So yeah, this is what is going to be on the back wall. So currently where there's all those shelves and I've got my cards, there's going to be some double door wardrobes with lovely mirrors um, and either side like a shelving display unit. This was actually my idea um, because I still wanted somewhere to like display my loveliest bags and shoes. So this is the view um, that you would get when you walk in. So it's actually going to be like an open shelving unit which I really kind of fancied. Like I like the idea of it. It would make it feel a bit more like a walk-in wardrobe. So I'm going to have like an open shelving unit there and then underneath is a shoe rack and then there's like a folding shelf on top. Um, and then here, uh, you may recall this like awkward space, um, which is here, it's all like built in and then there's a cupboard here and then there's just this random space um, in the middle. So I'm going to have another shelving unit built basically. Um, again, I can put like shoes here, bags, which I think is really useful because I have so many and there's a lot of hanging storage in the flat, but not a lot of like cupboard space where I could put shoes and bags. So that's gonna be really nice and it will look, it will look nice too. And then that's the bird's eye of what it will look like. So obviously like originally I kind of imagined it being like a full on walk-in wardrobe and having things all around. But the trouble with that is there'd be literally like next to no walking space. I also didn't want to block the window because then there'd be no light in here at all. Um, and this way it kind of gives me space to put like a few pictures up. 
um, I can have my nice stool or like a cute little bench or something like that. So I think once it's like furnished as well, it's just going to look so incredible. So that's the plans for the dressing room and I think they're coming in about four or five weeks to fit it. So I think it won't be in the next vlog, but the vlog after and I just can't wait. And guys, here are my hallway tiles. Oh, I am so so incredibly happy with these every time i look at them i've just got this huge grin on my face so the tiles are from original style and how it works is you basically order all of the tiles separately to create this pattern which is called the york pattern i think so we've got these white octagons the little pink squares and then the border tiles and i actually made a mistake in my order and i was supposed to have these thick uh thick pink tiles for the border but I didn't order enough and I ordered too many of the skinny ones which were for the fireplace but my tiler is so amazing that he basically improvised and did this little kind of like brickwork uh, layering which I think just looks even better than the original plan I mean they are just stunning and I love how classic and timeless and traditional this style is very Victorian so beautiful but it's pink it has a Freddy flair and I just think they are stunning I'm so happy so that's it for today I'm not really doing anything today I've got so much just to sort out like I've got to sort out my internet my TV my phone um, all sorts of boring stuff like that so I thought I'd just give you a little progress update like a mid a midweek progress update with all the fabulous things that have been going on um, so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow Good morning everyone, I'm back in the pink room because I just can't get enough of the light in here. It's so, so pretty. So today is the day that I have probably been the most excited for, like, in this whole process. Today we are panelling the lounge and guys, it is going to look unbelievable. The whole style of the room, those high ceilings and the way it's so grand just totally lends itself to this style of panelling that we're going to do and we've got all of the materials they're all in here we've got all of the stuff ready all of the boxes this is all of the adhesive i think i've got like way too much um but better to have too much than not enough um oh my god i'm so excited so we're gonna get going i reckon this is going to be a two-day job because we're doing a lot of panelling and it's a big room um but everything's prepped we're all ready to go and yeah, guys, I just can't wait. <laughs> now let me linger and meet her somehow she glides across the room like a bride without a groom if I tried would she assume I'd been drinking too much thinking won't do me no good the bells are ringing telling me that i should now we fly without a care say goodbye to the folks down there ask me why or when or where i won't answer i'll romance her till i a dream Will I burn 
or burst I must have been dreaming Still I'm beaming Smiling from ear to ear If I was dreaming Then why is she still here? If I'm dreaming Then why is she still here? Right guys, it's electrician day today, Scott's back. Do you want to give us a little um, lowdown of the yeah. jobs that are going on today? So obviously we were here last time, weren't we? So we yeah. got a nice fireplace, that's what we plastered now, which is Ooh. nice. Nicely decorated. Yeah. <laughs> today we're going into the kitchen. Come through here, bit of mess on the floor, where we've taken out the old fitting. Oh Lord. You can see there. And now we've got a little hole in the roof at the moment. So I've pushed all the connectors up into the roof, the little connectors up there. And now we've got the new one ready to go in for the new lamp, which is just below here. Exciting! Which chosen. Yay! And then from here, before that, I was also doing the landing. So we go back oh, up here yeah. and spin around, Fred. Okay, so this is what you were doing this morning when I was at the gym, Yeah, right? so this is this morning. So you had two down lights with yep. cold, horrible light we didn't like. Awful. So that's, that's gone. So they need to be plastered in now. <laughs> I text Scott and I was like, can you get rid of these down lights? I hate them. Can we so have a normal cold, light? Awful. So what we've done now is we've taken the feed of electrics that was here and I've put it back over in the roof to come out here. And it's all protected Yay. where you can go for a nice sparkly chandelier. Woo! Speaking my on. language. That's it. <laughs> the next job is going to be in the bathroom. Oh God. So bathroom. So we've got these old down lights, which uh, they're not IP lights. So we're going to change that out straight away. So nice and safe. So I'm going to pull each one out, each fixture, and just change all this to a nice sparkly new one. Yeah. Inside all these fittings and things. They're going to be white because right now they just look like four ugly, yeah. six ugly like dots on the yeah. ceiling, basically. So it's going to make it look a lot nicer. Definitely. Yay. <laughs> Oh guys, look, I have a light. Oh, I'm so happy with it. It looks so, so cool. Let's just turn the light on, shall we? <gasps> Ooh, it's so nice, guys. I got this from Next. I was really unsure of what kind of light fitting to have in here because I didn't want it too, like, you know, girly and feminine, like a ornate chandelier because it's just not going to go in this room um but i also didn't want something modern and i feel like i've got a really good balance here um i love these glass um these glass shades i think they look really cool and it's like an antique brass color which you can't really see on camera as always um but it looks really cool so yeah i'll link this down below for you guys if you're interested but i think it's actually pretty perfect for this kitchen and also my new bathroom down lights up this is such an improvement i just felt like the chrome ones were so ugly and they just really like drew your attention because they were so dark and not only do these look better but the light that they give is so pretty it's almost pinky it gives off like a pinky light and they're really bright um but also really soft honestly like just the light is so much nicer than it was before so i'm really really happy this is such like a small seemingly insignificant thing but it's made such a difference to this bathroom <laughs> Hello everyone, I've put you on 
this and paint cans today because my arms are aching so badly. Um, I don't think I've actually spoken to you since the panelling went up. Um, so yeah, it took us two days to put it up, as you saw. It was really, really tiring, but it just looks incredible. Like the way that it's transformed this room is beyond words. And then yesterday, me and my mum just did one coat of paint on all the panelling, we used the same white eggshell that we used on all the rest of the woodwork in here a few weeks ago, and even that's made it look even better. Um, and I did decide just to go with white, um, to stick with like the pink and white contrast because I just think it looks amazing. Now, today is the job that I've kind of been dreading, and that's doing the second coat of pink wall paint. And I know I'm going to get questions uh, why I didn't just do the second coat of paint and then put the panelling on because obviously it would have been so much easier than having to go around each and every individual box inside and out. It's going to take about five times as long. Um, honestly, putting up the panelling is really messy. You have to draw lines all over the walls to make sure everything's straight and everything's evenly spaced and perfect. Um, and then all the adhesive, like the glue that we used to put the panelling on, just kind of went everywhere. Basically, there's no way that you wouldn't have to paint after you've put the panelling on. And it's just one of those things. It's going to take a while. It may may even take two days. My mum is on her way now to help me because there is literally no way I could do this by myself. I would cry. Um, something else quite interesting is, as you guys know, because you will have seen this in the last episode, my plan was to have this room in Farrow and Ball's Calamine colour, and I got this colour matched in a Dulux paint, and I was going to do the Farrow and Ball for the top coat, just to save myself some money, but honestly guys, this looks so perfect, and I did a little like test patch on the wall of the real Calamine colour, and it's actually a shade or two lighter, which originally I thought I wanted, but now the panelling is up, I really don't think this pink should be any lighter because you just get such a beautiful contrast with the white, and the white really brightens the room up, so I am actually just sticking with the same Dulux paint. I'm not gonna bother with the Faro and Ball at all because this looks just absolutely perfect. But now we have to paint this room and it's going to be torturous, but I just know the finished result is going to be perfection. When you are feeling close to me And you tell me you care You know, joy fills inside of me When you tell me that you're thinking about me now Only do right by me When 